Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. Like that, join those together like that. And we'll drag this out over to the field over there. Just so it's kind of out of my way mostly to start with. And we'll worry about uh, loading it and doing deliveries and stuff in a little while. I'm not going to worry about that for a minute. You going out round there. So I need to swing out a little bit so that I can get into this field. And he's going to go in there. So probably another four passes on the... I mean, you see how far he goes out round to do the turn there. Thinking, you know, at least a few more passes before I worry about stopping. But he's only got 3,600 litres on board right now. Bring you up here. You're, you're a bit more out of the way. Like that. So that one can stop there. I want another job. I've got sowing in field 8, which is the one that we've gone and done. So we sow that with barley. There's field 12, fertilizer, the one that we've just finished. We've got a lot of jobs. Field 16. That old sunflower field. Let's borrow the items for that field. Right there, we will go to you a moment, and I will manually turn this one around again. And then I'll get the new plow that we've got there sat ready to go for field 16. The delightful one that cost us so much money already. And we'll get the plowing underway in that field. It'll be nice to make a bit of money on field 16. Considering how much we've lost doing that field. It'll be rather nice to be able to just get a little bit back. I feel I feel it's not a bad thing to want a, just a little bit of a return on there. Now, how far out are you? I think you're alright. You seem to be doing okay. Uh, so not you, not you, no, you right here. This is the same tractor as the other one that we've got. Same combo. Um, bring you back over here like this. Hook you in there and go and get you started on field 16. I can't remember what we've got on field 16 even. All right, let's hook those both on like that. A little bit awkward. It's because these cars park right in our way. They're not very well parked, those cars. Not for where we, where our machinery keeps getting left. It makes life a little bit difficult, doesn't it? So I'd say that it's not my fault that I just walloped into them. It's entirely the fault of the idiot car drivers that decided to go and leave their vehicles right in my way. They should have known I was coming through. They should know my reputation. And they've no one to blame but themselves. Now, if I... I just want to go straight up across here, don't I? Don't need to do anything else. We go straight through there and on up the road up this way. And then... Now, there's a steep bank down there. A steep bank down there. Uh, we'll see about doing a pass or two over there in a minute. We'll go up this way first. So, I'm going to unfold the plow first. Like that. As we drive up the road. But then, what you do is... We use the mouse and we spread it as part as wide as we can get it. It needs to be properly spread right there. Maximum width. And then we can get everything nice and easy like that. Oh, no. I don't want an AI extension at all. I want to turn that one off there. I want just normal hired help on this one. I'm thinking two passes along this top end of the field, just to start off with. And then I will do a pass down. And I'll probably do a pass... Well, if I just do one pass, I think, down that end, that should be enough. The potatoes are not increasing at the moment, so that suggests that he is currently trying to turn round. Whether he is able to turn round, he's doing 10k right now. I'm a bit concerned about what he's doing. Oh. Ah. He did actually manage to reverse back there and turn around properly. I'm impressed. I am impressed with that. I let him. Do, he's going to do probably a couple more passes on there before I do any more. Uh, you over here, you've not done too badly. 
Not done too badly at all. I will bring him over here like this. I'm going to turn that plow. It's going to come over like that. There, the plow is turning. I will bring my tractor in like that. And then... Oh, wait. No, I want to actually have the plow selected. There. Like that. And then drive up across there. Let me just press H to have that one running. Okay. Just two passes along here should be enough to be able to turn around without leaving loads of bits behind. At least that's what I'm hoping. So next I do a pass down to the other end of the field there. And then... I think just one along there. I mean, I know that there is a bank down there, and it is possibly a little bit steep, but I don't think it's going to cause us too many issues. At least I'm hoping it's not. So you can come out to there, and we will stop, and then we will bring you back round like this. You can leave that plough turning in that direction. I won't bother flipping it over, not for this bit. I want to have my tracked wheels lined up there, lower the plow down, and then off you go. Hired help can go and do the rest. Excellent. So we have to keep a bit of an eye on you, but also want to keep an eye on the rest of the stuff in here. You're doing one more, well, two more passes, I would think, along here, and then that's going to be about it. That should be enough on this. I mean, if it's not enough on this end, then we'll come back and we'll do some more work with it later. But at the moment, that's looking pretty good. And I think we should be able to get another harvest job going at the same time. I mean, yes, it's going to take a bit more to have a self-propelled harvester running at the same time. But I still think that we can do it. I still think that we're going to be able to keep up with both of them and manage other jobs simultaneously. And that way we should, it should, like, get us towards a decent bit of money coming in at a faster rate. Let me just skip over to here a minute. That one. I want to uncover that trailer. And I want to uncover that trailer. Now, what I'm going to do here is, yes, I know I'm driving on the potatoes. And I should not be driving on the potatoes at all. But I'm going to go up beside this one. I don't know if I've got to... He does. He will stop to fill me. That's fine. I don't mind if it stops to fill. We can just go and grab that there. And it dumps it all out. And it does it very quickly as well. Look at that. So I'm going to want... Well, I'm only going to want to go up once across the field at the moment because I'm going to need to do a few passes along that top end. I got an idea of how I'm going to make that work. Okay, so have, leaving the trailer there, he won't carry on, so I am going to have to make sure I move my tractor out of the way when I'm doing this. So for now, you will go just there, just so that you're out of the way a little bit. And I will... Oop, no, it's this one that I want. Right... Get off the hired help. Unfold pipe first. Right, wait a minute. Can I not? If I put the pipe out... Oh! Right, this one here... You cannot actually have it harvesting at the same time as the pipe being out. That, that it doesn't actually work to do that. Uh, that's, that's not even an option for it. Now, I'll turn that one off. I'm going to actually have the hired help run up across the field. Ooh. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do one pass up across here, and then I'll do more up the other way. Uh, okay, I don't want to be hitting that trailer, really, if I can help it. Put you in there a little bit like that. Right, go. Hired help do a pass up across the field up there. 
And you're going to run all the way down to the other end. It's, it's, it's a slow old process with this one. And this is why we'll be able to have more than one of these jobs. Uh, you, no, I don't want that one. You here. Yeah. What's he like down the other end? I ought to pay more attention to this one, really. Tell you what, we'll we'll still pay attention to it, but there's other things that I also want to do. Field 8, sowing. Field 25, sowing. Field 18, plowing up there. Uh, that's another one with the big plow. Field 18 is... Oh, it's that one right there. That might get in the way of us at the moment, because I'm thinking we'll be harvesting field 20 alongside the field that we're doing right now. Uh, that one there. It's got to go to the Felsbring Grain Mill. But, yeah, so I'm kind of thinking that one. So, uh, field 23, plowing here. Let me borrow those items, and we'll be able to go up top and get that set up. Uh, this one right here. I will do one pass along the end, just because I think it makes a neater job of it when you do that. So I'll bring you in around there, like that, and then I'll lower that one down there. And also, yeah, almost always find that it works better if I do a pass on one side and then I work down the other side. So, like, it, I don't get, I haven't found it as much in FS19, but I still do get it stopping occasionally, weirdly, mid-run on the final pass, because uh, it just doesn't seem to like it. So, almost always it seems to be better to do pass down one side what well, basically just manually do three sides of the field and then set the hired help going on the final side of the field and just leave it and that almost always works out fine then uh, you know, i very very rarely encounter any problems by doing it in that way let's bring you back there like that and set you right there and then hired help there's another one underway. That one is going. It's doing an absolutely magnificent job. I've got complete total faith in its abilities, and I'm going to leave it. And you have turned round already. That was a little bit too quick. Wasn't expecting it quite that fast. It's good. And I'd say I've probably got enough room to do everything that I want to do up here. Like, it, there does actually seem to be a decent bit of space for turning around. So I'm going to manually do... A couple of passes along this top end. Alright, I am going to do a little bit. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it working on the road side of this field. Rather than this lane side of the field. Purely because it's going to be easier for us to access it with our tractor and trailers. We'll be able to go in and out of the side gate just over there and that's going to give us a direct run to the supermarket where we've got to go and take these potatoes so if we can do it like that that'd be absolutely brilliant now the only downside to all of this is yes we're going to be delivering the potatoes as they're harvested but um ooh, that's a bit of a squid like that, that that fence right there right wait a minute how are we going to do this i might have to no, I should should be able to do it like this. Let me just do one. Yeah, okay. We will. It will be able to fit just in there. So I'll just take you down to that point like that. And then back up a bit. And I'll do another pass down across the field here. Um, yeah, normally I like to like get all of the harvest done before we go and deliver any crops, anything like that. But it's going to be a little bit more difficult to try and time that just right. Um, like, we're going to be selling crops. So we can sell crops and um, get a lot of it delivered before the job is complete. So if we sell them too quickly, then the work for actually completing the contract where we would like the harvesting part of it is going to eat into the available overlap that we have for going and selling the surplus potatoes at the end of it. 
Uh, I know what I mean, even if the rest of you don't. Um, if we could stockpile all... The best way to do it is to harvest everything in the field, stockpiling your crop. And then the bit that's left over at the end, then, like, the, the, the percentage of the contract that's left over at the end, that's the bit that you then go and take to the market in order to sell, um, in order to, like, make your actual money from the entire contract. Um, now, what I'm thinking right here is, can the hired help actually function on this piece right here and not get hung up on anything. He should be able to. We want to run down the outside edge of the field just there, and I'm hoping he's going to get all the way down to the bottom end of the field. We can drive along and we can meet it. Remember, you don't need to be going alongside the tractor in order to unload it. Uh, you just drive up to it because it's got to stop moving to put the spout out on this machine. Which means that we don't unload on the move. Which is a little bit different to most things that we're used to. But it, it'll work just fine. Uh, I got another plow there that I want to go and set going. There's a little bit that he's left there. That's fine. It's not going to make any difference. Uh, so let's get you. Get you up to field 23, is it? can't even remember what field this one's going to. Which one are you? Field 23! Which is that one right there. Field 25 has already been cultivated, so we need to get to field 23. There's a little bit of a drive to go up there to that one. I will fold that plow up there. Yeah, see, it, needs to be, it just sort of folds in a little bit. Uh, the potato harvester, I'll tell you what, we'll deal with the potato harvester first. Let's go to you don't want to be driving on there you've got a nearly full grain tank you don't really want to be driving on the sugar beet if we can help it now how is he going to cope with turning here this is going to be the slightly tricky bit over on that side of the field because there are some like odd bits there in that corner but he he's fine actually ignore the fact he's driving all over the crop he's actually just fine with all of that all right. I mean, yeah, with the way that the game works, you can't have the side-mounted machine drive in such a way that it never goes on the crops. That's just the way that the hired help works and the way that the game mechanics themselves work. Uh, but that's a minor detail that we don't mind about at all. So I bring you up there, and that's not even close. Let's try that again. We'll, we'll spin round. See, lowers back down, so he does carry on by himself. Except that he's not carrying on by himself now. Bizarrely. So I'll put you there. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to get the rear trailer filled. I wonder if he didn't carry on by himself because he was above 80%. That's so I'm thinking he didn't carry on by himself because he was above 80%. That's my theory on this, and that's the one I'm sticking to. Right, there's some Tatey Pose loaded into the trailer. He's lowered that one back down, and he's away again. And uh, I pretty much guarantee it was because he was above 80% on total capacity, which is why he didn't start moving again. Uh, so it's just worth keeping in mind for the future. That one's working. We've now got our harvest job underway and working as we would want. That's brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic. And then that's the gateway that we'll be going out of in order to go and reach the supermarket once we've got our first load up and running and ready. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get this tractor right here and I want to take it up to... Oop, just shut the tractor off. I want to take this one up the field 23. We'll set the plow going up there and let's actually get it moving, shall we? Let's try actually driving just, just for something different. Just for, you know, sheer novelty value. Um, through here, there's the supermarket. Right there. It looks like it's a straight drive through on that one, which is good. We don't have to reverse anywhere. Um, which, considering that we've 
you know, the way our tractor is at the moment. Um, that's, that's a really good thing. Uh, the train is parked across the track here, so we'll just pretend that it isn't. It does mean that we can access it easily in a bit when we do want to get to it. Um, so we, we'll just pretend that it's not parked on the track at the moment, because when we start, the ne like, as soon I'm going to get this ploughing job underway, and then I'm thinking that we can get going with another harvest job, with the sugar beet one. That one we've got to deliver to Felsbrin. And... Uh, so we're going to have to time that one a little bit more carefully. It does mean, though, that we can do the entire harvest job and we can put everything into the silo right there. And then after we've done that, then we can sort of make the decision on how we go about selling, how much of it we send off to Felsbrin the first run and how much we hold back in order to try and sell a little bit later on. Uh, because as I have been warned... If you load everything into the train in order to take it off to Felsbrin straight away, you don't get to keep back any of the extra. You don't get any of the extra being sold as additional crop for you. You, you don't get money coming off of it. And that's the one point on this map at the moment that I personally don't like. like the, the, everything else I've seen on this map so far is absolutely wonderful now we're plowing on the side of a hill right here it's not a very steep hill but it is still plowing on the side of the hill if you're plowing on the side of the hill uh really what you want to be doing is you don't want to be turning the furrow down the hill you want to be working from the top side down. Problem is, if you're doing that on the side of the hill like that, then the furrow you're driving in is on the... No, the furrow you're driving in is on the top side of the hill, and that's absolutely perfect, so, the, the, you know, that is what you want to do. Um, now, if you're, if you're doing it here, and you're turning it downhill, when you go back through, your tractor wheel on the lower side of your tractor is in a ditch. And, yeah, then you're leaning over more than you, even more than you would be to start with. And you don't really want to do that. Um, yeah, it's, you, you turn uphill. You always want the furrow going uphill. And it's also a safer way of doing it. It's just, I looked at it, I, I, I thought, I know that this is a safer way of doing it. So why am I even looking at this and then suddenly getting confused? Um, I don't know, because I'm easily confused some days. So if we go here, and we'll put that one onto standard, we'll drive to there, and you're away. Uh, I'm just going to leave that one like that. I'm not going to bother doing anything else with it. He is going to go and plow, actually it's a she, she is going to go and plow all of that field all the way up through there. Field 16 is doing a grand job of making us a pile of money. Field... 19 is making us a pile of money and he's doing a decent job down through there as well look at that we're clearing a bit of space now we're actually making some progress in the field this is brilliant that's fantastic you're nearly finished this one and then we're back over to here so the next job that i want to go with now i got field 23 field 18 i'm leaving at the moment because i'm getting two harvest jobs going over here i don't have any other plowing jobs that i can go and do just yet there is field 8 which we can go planting field 12 now needs some spraying done uh Field 3 is probably got, we've got fertilizer in field 12. Field 8 needs planting. Field 25 needs planting. 18 is sowing. And then we've got several harvest jobs as well. So field 10, all the way over the other side, that's Felsburn Grain Mill. Field 20 right here, that's Felsburn Grain Mill. Field 9 is smaller, and that's a supermarket. Field 9 is that one. I'm not, I'm probably not going to do field nine because of the distance that we've got to travel in order to do that harvest. I'm doing a root crop. I'm going to do a root crop field 20. Probably we'll have a go with field 10, although that one's not been plowed. We've put fertilizer on there, but as it's not been plowed, I'm a bit more cautious about that one. Maybe we'll see after we've done these others. Uh, most of the rest of them. I don't think are jobs that we want ourselves, are they? 
Uh, 14 and 17, no. And 22, no, we don't want those. Uh, 7 and 2, we don't want those. No, there, there aren't any others. It's all been the root crop ones that we've been working on. Right, okay. Field 20. We will go with field 20. We will do that one. So we get a self-propelled sugar beet harvester for this one. And this is the... We need to borrow items. There we go. Self-propelled sugar beet harvester, the Panther 2. And then we've got a tractor and trailer in order to drag things back as well. So let's load you up right here. And this is only a small sugar beet harvester. It still holds 30,000 litres of sugar beet, though. So it's it's not too shabby. That's not too shabby at all. Let's not smash the cars, shall we? Uh, this one... Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right. You fold up. What are you doing? Is that that's that is, is that folded? That there is folded for road travel, like that. Goes right up like that. Unfortunately, it makes it a little bit difficult to see, so you can't do that. You kinda need a different way of doing that um this one in here how does that fold up turn on higher pipe in okay i'm not sure what the pipe was all about and then pipe out pipe in oh you pipe in and then fold right i let that fold up so that we can travel back out oh, there we go right uh, but the actual header, we can't fold that one up on what we've got right here. Uh, also, there are other steering modes. So we can go, let's just go there a second and control Y like that. Turn steering. That's the one that I want. That steering there, that's the sharpest steering that you can get. Right? It turns both the wheels and the machine itself. It's a brilliant method to use. I particularly like this one. And we'll bring you down over here like this. And whiz you in around there like that. So for this field here, I will do a pass along this end here like this. We're going to unfold the harvester. We've got our potato harvester is whizzing up and down the field. He's about ready to do another load. We'll be able to shortcut across this field because both the fields are being harvested at the same time and because we've driven across the sugar beet on this field several times, the owner of this field, by way of apology, is going to allow us to shortcut across the field and go out his side gate over there in order to deliver to the storage silo there for the railway. Right, so that's how we're going to be able to do that, and we're not going to need to go doing loads of travel up and down the road. It's just going to make things a little bit more simple for us. I cannot use the standard AI at all on this. Let me start that one up. Can I use any AI on this? I hope I can. Can't. I'm going to be... Wait, what? I'm pressing H on here, and I... Why are you... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. So while I sit up here and enjoy this view and a well-earned break, could you please consider taking a look at the links in the description down below? We have Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, who are very, very reliable, and they provide us with a server on our Discord channel. And there is also Fanatical, where you can buy all kinds of different computer games for various different platforms. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.